This way. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our words legacy. Opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I can't believe I could have played this game four times as different. different I classes. certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. I'll be recording bits and pieces of those as well after this series is over. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Lumos. It's um, Lumos. You've been practicing. Come on. I'm confused here. Revelio. Okay, so doesn't look like okay. I'm confused here. Ravenclaw bust. <clears throat> the bust created in honor of Ravenclaw House resides in off the Ravenclaw Tower. You just knocked the field guide challenge. Progress towards completion and challenges appears here. <clears throat> Okay. Guess we have to. This is your wizarding level XP earned from challenges increases level and power. Field guide tracks your current challenge progress and like challenges meaning to continue. Collecting your first page guide. Knock the new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Each challenge has tiers, special rewards, and not get each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. You can bank often to collect the rewards you have unlocked. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Okay, so I can't do anything else for that. Then there's gonna be a lot. The Highlands. Hogwarts and Hogsmeade. I swear I had DLC unlocked here. No. Yeah, no. Sure, why not? We got nothing else. All right. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Actually, hold on.
No time to waste. You've classes to attend. I'm sure I do. Ooh, there's something here I can do. And on a second. No, 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 no. Of course I did that. Turn my phone off, apparently. Yeah, come on. There we go. Reveal. Open. Damn it. Alright, fine. Opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. You discovered a flu flames. Fast travel point. You can open the map at any time the fast travel to any discovered flu flames. Okay. Hogwarts divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and great hall. That is Quidditch. Anyway, Garion Staircase. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green represent flames you've discovered, including your own house coming room. Gray reveals undiscovered ones. Alright. The right side is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Professor recently has unlocked the central flu flames for you. Use the right stick to rotate the map and fast travel to the flu flames. Alright. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost <clears throat> anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, can you tell me more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. What exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Hmm. 
What is Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. All right, thank, thank you, you Professor. Professor. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion <clears throat> is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, there is, in fact. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Yeah, it was nothing, sir. Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. Mm you can check available quests from the map. 
This or presents main quests. Completing it will further the story and not new features. Grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level or have the required spell to activate the quest. The spells can be earned by completing professors' assignments or as quest rewards. Defense against Dark Arts class or Charms class. Let's go with the Dark Arts. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right. Yes, Charmed Compass. Have you into to anything you're tracking, all right? Like up and that. Wait, 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 what was that? Okay. Damn it. What is this? Even get this thing. No, I can't. Okay. Just gonna move on. Get a juggler, alright. Weird. to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. <laughs> a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. Especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting with something small. Oh shit. Levioso. 
I must didn't do that right. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> yeah, this can be interesting. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dump deflected your cast. This time, mm -hmm. cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Now, well done. Okay, I see. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, oh, no. take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, oh, no. basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Wait, I don't know how to do Protego. Nothing lucky about it. Good form. I know. You're good. Now perspective. Thank you. Um, okay. What we got here? Stupefy. Tigo. Okay. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Yeah, okay. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Mm, I'd okay. hate to face Professor Hackett in a duel. <laughs> Level two and knock. All right. Come on. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Mm, nice okay. work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Uh, it was never used to wand in combat. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, 
You're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Sounds like the first few time. Harry Potter games. So you had a battle, um... Slytherin boy. Oh, we need to go all the way up there. Go to Charms class. Okay, that was weird. What's <laughs> wrong with this guy? The Ronin tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Yeah, I can see that. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. <laughs> My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. Now okay, come on, we need to wrap it up. Okay. Let's do this thing. Akio. Akio. Akio, okay. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. All right, so we are going to wrap it up right here. I'll see you on the next episode when we continue the class. Shit, never mind. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> what are you building? Oh, it's this. 
So why don't we have our new students start us off? Hmm? Eh? I've seen this in the live stream. Yeah, we're gonna continue this next episode. On one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, so I'll see you all then. Take care.